Much more breaking news from Phoenix. 22 people had to be lowered off a roller coaster at Castles and Coasters this evening after it stalled. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is live now at the park tonight. And Colleen, how are those people doing? Well, guys, that's the good news in all of this. None of those 22 people that were stuck up on the coaster needed to go to the hospital. And really, that's the best ending to really a scary situation. The idea of a roller coaster is to move fast and bring a thrill. But Saturday evening, the big coaster at Castles and Coasters came to a stop. Oh, my first time here. 12 year old Joseph Almarez was on the ride when Phoenix Fire says it stalled. We're just like, we're all leaning down like that. And it was very scary. In total, Phoenix Fire says 22 people were on the ride, suspended 20 feet in the air inside their seats. The roller coaster train stopped in the middle of a horizontal loop. Technical rescue teams from Phoenix Fire and Glendale Fire. This is a very um, complex system. Took each person down one by one. What they used was a, uh, a cinch collar and a pickoff harness to make sure that each patient is lowered safely. It, it's a backup system, kind of a contingency plan. In all, we're told it took about 90 minutes. Joseph, grateful for their assistance. So I felt kind of safe because they're holding the thing down and they helped me get down. But the scariest part when we had to switch to ladder. And grateful to be back on the ground. Now, what we don't know right now is why the coaster stalled in the first place. We have contacted the depart the park to ask why that happened, but we haven't heard back yet. We're live in Phoenix. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.